Hey Luke here with catsandcarb.com and I have been crushing it with the flathead fishing lately. So I made this little video to show you what I'm doing to catch some really nice catfish. So first thing you got to do is get a load of bluegill. So that's before taking off in the boat, got the rod and reel and some Slim Jims out, caught a whole bunch of uh, bluegill. But I wanted a few more fish uh, just to top off the tank. And uh, so I got out the cast net and caught some shad and some uh, bluegill and some sunfish with the cast net. Nothing too great. Um, I usually like to have about 12, 15 fish to go uh, night fishing. And uh, so I just went out and caught about four or five more shad. And that topped me off pretty good. I've got this 10 foot casting net with the one inch mesh. Works pretty good. It's a little bit long uh, for throwing on the boat. I'm still getting the hang of it. Probably eight footer would be better, but uh, that's what I got and it works all right. Catches the fish. I'm fishing with these shad uh, live. I'm hooking them through the back. Uh, same thing with the bluegills. Chucking them out there with three ounce lead right on the bottom. Now watch the second rod from the left. The tip twitches a little bit. The boat's moving back and forth and it's acting like it's hooked up on the bottom. But the line's moving. I cast it about 15-20 oh, feet right to the side of the boat. And over the course of about three to four minutes, the line slowly travels towards the boat. And I've sped the video up about three times its normal speed so you can see it, but it's almost imperceptible at real speed. And the bells on the rod tips didn't ring, no real big dramatic move. That's how the flatheads were hitting a lot of these baits. Yeah, like that, if it's moving. Bluegill are probably my favorite bait for fishing for flatheads. They just survive a lot better than shad do. They're tougher and they swim more aggressively. I just think they, they draw in the flatheads a little bit better. Also, I think the flatheads tend to eat more bluegill than shad, while blue catfish tend to eat more shad than bluegill. But once again, look at their really tiny little bite and hook up on another big fish.
these flatheads put up such a great fight, man. They just put a massive bend in that rod. It was just had a ball with those Chad Ferguson Whisker Seeker rods. This is another fabulous flathead, 37 pounder, absolutely gorgeous fish. Inhaled a bluegill the size of my palm. I'm fishing right over this trough uh, with a lot of snags on the bottom. Just a fabulous flathead hunting ground and just had a great time fishing for about two hours with live bait. Had an absolutely fabulous trip, but uh, accidentally drained the starter motor battery by not charging it the night before, but had a great trip. Um, if you like this video, check out some of our other videos, including our top 8 catfish bait and how to fish with live bait. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe.